Look out. Because this Halloween, Toys R Us is your Halloween headquarters. You'll find every trick or treat under the moon. A monstrous selection of costumes and a dungeon full of decorations. At prices so low, you'll howl. So this Halloween, bring the entire family to Toys R Us for a Halloween selection so huge. It's scary. <laughs> can happen this Halloween. When you give out McDonald's Halloween gift certificates, kids take them to McDonald's and, and they get a McDonald's soft drink. A book of 20 Halloween gift certificates costs only a dollar. And can turn into 20 regular soft drinks. It must be the magic of Halloween. Nobody can do what McDonald's can. N nobody. Hi there, I'm Igor Smith. And I'm Witch War. And the day on Kidding Around, we have a special Halloween show for you. We'll find out how to make some chocolate chip pumpkin squares. We'll see some decorated pumpkins and special window decorations. We're going to find out all about bats and tarantulas. We're going to see a special Halloween dance and lots, lots more. So be sure and stay with us for our special Kidding Around Halloween celebration. <laughs> From Television Center in Transylvania, it's Boo! Starring Peter Cullen, Jack Duffy, Ben Gordon, Barbara Law, Ted Ziegler, and with special guest stars Dionne Warwick and Rip Taylor. Boo! Boo will return after these messages. Who to call when you have ghosts? But who do you call when you have monsters? We're the Monster Squad. What squad? It's like Miami Vice, I think. They're young and inexperienced. Naughty virgin. They're a bit disorganized. Monsters are not real. We don't know that, sir. Two thousand year old dead guys do not get up and walk away by themselves. But when strange things start happening in town... There's a monster in my closet. Whoa! Look at that big, scary monster! What's happening? Do I see a werewolf? Silver bullet? They're the only ones ready to do battle. Something's out there that's killing people. And if it's monsters, nobody's gonna do a thing about it but us. Soon the creatures of the night show rule the world. Real monsters? Oh. Midnight in the world, remember? Maybe if we can be like Mascot and Stingy, you know, two mask bombs. We got a 1035, sit back up! Hurry up! Or Nature Squad. The book is right. Don't you see it's all true? By midnight. You guys! <laughs> They won't seem so young anymore. The Monster Squad. Wolfman's gone. Hi, I'm Dumpy the Pumpkin, Carvel's fresh ice cream cake, and I'm back for Halloween. And here's my friend. Wiki the Witch! Having a Halloween party? I'm Wiki the Witch! And what could be more fun than to have us for Halloween? We're both made fresh daily at participating Carvel ice cream stores! You want to send one to a friend? Please phone 800-327-GIFT and call the cake honors most major credit cards. Thank you. No! Doctor, help me! Can't you hear? No! Help me! No! Please help me! Help me! Well, he realized who the criminals were and settled accounts with them. Then when he saw the doctor trying to escape, he picked him up like a rag doll and threw him into a pit full of rattlers.
tablespoon of butter and salt and you cook it for about an hour and you check every 15 minutes to see if it's crisp. Oh, well thanks a lot for talking with us today and your costume is really great. Have a happy Halloween. Thanks. thanks, Scott. Thanks, Karen. Thanks for helping us celebrate. We're still painting our window and while we finish this up, we're going to have some dancers. Four dancers from Diana's Dance School in Chicago. They're going to do a special Halloween dance for They'll us. They'll perform to Eye of the Tiger. Now here are Diana's dancers. You want another door in this room? Yes. <laughs> Okie dokie, where do you want it? Just a moment, and I'll find out. Frankie! Oh, Frankie, my boy! <laughs> I know. Put it there. <laughs> <laughs> then one night he took a walk on the moors. Beware the moonlets. Is David behaving strangely? Are you all right now? Well, I'll let you know the next full moon. Tomorrow night's the full moon. You're going to change. <laughs> From the director of Animal House, a different kind of animal, an American werewolf in London, rated R. But here's the scariest monster of all. Do you know why? This little witch doesn't know it, but she's taking some frightening chances of being hurt. Maybe badly hurt. Her costume is very, very dangerous. Can you see the things that make it dangerous? What about that mask? She can hardly see through those tiny holes for her eyes. Ow, that hurts. It's bad enough to take a tumble on hard pavement that it would be even worse to sprawl out on the street in front of a car coming. Boo will return after these messages. Nothing could tear me away from my Count Chocula cereal. Who's that? Good morning. A real Dracula. For real? May I have some? You can have mine. I'll sink my teeth into... What? The delicious chocolatey marshmallows and Count Chocula cereal. Oh, yeah. And it's part of this complete breakfast, too. How about a monster for breakfast today? For real? Thank you very much for helping us celebrate ha Happy Halloween. I hope you have a very happy Halloween. You too. Jenny? You. Today I'm going to tell you some Halloween news from a few of your favorite celebrities. Actor Michael Damien of TV's daytime drama The Young and the Restless always dressed up like a ghost when he was a kid. That was his favorite costume. Facts of Life star Nancy McKeon says that her favorite kind of treat is a gooey popcorn ball. And actor Peter Barton of TV's Powers of Matthew Starr says his favorite thing about Halloween as a kid was the look on people's faces when they saw him in his costume. He was dressed like a giant tooth. Another Facts of Life star, Lisa Welchel, says she really goes nuts over those little teeny candy bars everyone hands out. Actor Ricky Schroeder from TV Silver Spoons loves to go to the houses that give out fruit and packages of raisins and healthy stuff. 
Joni Love's Chassis star Aaron Moran says that she used to be one of those rotten kids who did tricks on people if they didn't give a good out treat, but nothing real bad. And actor Rad Daly says he still goes out trick-or-treating. He just hunches over so people don't think he's too old. He says dressing up as a ghost help, helps pull off the scent, even though he's 17. And that's all our Halloween celebrity news for today. Steve? This year, let me greet your trick-or-treaters. Hi, I am Boris, and I'll be the hit of your Halloween party. I'm available at the Halloween party stores, Halloween Hall, Room 67, Boston. Coming at me, making a noise like a cat doing. Captain, it was awful. You could see those hands and those eyes. Captain, you've got to do something about it. You've got. Is it human or inhuman? Earthly or unearthly? Baffling questions, astounding questions that not even the world's greatest scientific minds can answer. Gentlemen, do you realize what we've found? A being from another world as different from us as one pole from the other. If we can only communicate with it. See? What happened, Doctor? In the greenhouse I was working, I couldn't see. Yeah. Then a blast of cold air and I heard Olsen scream. Come here. Get in the corner. Now hold this in front of you. Stay by the light switch. 1.9. Needles hit the top. <laughs> Hello, doctor. This is the Count. I'm very sick. Can you come over right away? Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't make coffin calls. <laughs> We can improve the mask by cutting larger holes to look out of. There, that's better. But there is an even safer way. You can simply not wear a mask. Oh, you think you need a mask to disguise yourself? Well, just watch what you can do with a little help from your parents and some scraps of cloth or old clothes from around home. An eyebrow pencil, different colors of eyeshadow, rouge, lipstick, an old mop or wig, some wax teeth, maybe some clay and food coloring, and a few other odds and ends. You'd be surprised what you can turn yourself into. Whether you buy a costume... In the laboratory of Dr. Frankenstein, something incredible was created. Great taste of pure milk chocolate and delicious mm. peanut butter. <laughs> Unfortunately, no one would listen. And so the world would have to wait for the two great tastes that taste great together in Reese's Peanut Butter Cups.
back to kidding around. Ah, uh, Halloween. Say, hey, what's your favorite thing about Halloween? Uh, I think I have to say the candy. <laughs> yeah, all the junk, right? All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, I think hands down, the food wins. I look forward to having all oh. the good stuff. And speaking of good stuff, 12-year-old Michelle Laurie from LaGrange Park is going to show us how to make chocolate chip pumpkin squares. Hi, Michelle. Hello. You even dress as a pumpkin. Right. That's great. The mummy! 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 The mummy. The Puttermans are just a typical American family. The only thing they're missing is a pet. But have we got a surprise for them? You see, Stanley Putterman's new satellite TV has just gone on the blink. And it's drawn in a creature from outer space. Like all new pets, this one's causing a little trouble around the house. And he's eating the Pottermans out of house and home. In fact, no! it seems like this creature will eat anything. No! Well, just about anything. He looked right at my studs and cooled out. This dude's into metal! Now, it's up to the kids to break the creature of its bad habits. I said shut up! But he's not responding well to discipline. Earth children, please, I mean you no harm. I am Pluthar, here to save you. The Padamans finally got themselves a pet, but they never even had a chance to give it a name. Terror Vision from Empire Pictures. Anything you want to talk about, man, come on down to Loudmouth. Cliff, go first. Okay, I want to know if these ladies right here believe in Halloween. That's no. what I want to know. I Why believe in it, but don't I don't you celebrate in Halloween? it. Halloween, because all it is... it's Satan's biggest heyday, that's why. No, it's why. not. Yes, no, it's it is. Not. It's no, Satan's not. holiday. No, 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 it's Satan's no, no, holiday. No, yes, it is. Halloween, Halloween yes, it is. is the time where everybody gets dressed up, and uh -huh. for one time, they don't have to be themselves. They can be somebody else and have a good time, Did like all these people who came here today. Why must you always be afraid of something you can control? No, Let me ask you something. I get heard that cigarettes are bad. Palmer Video presents Scoop Palmer, Ace Reporter. Friend of yours, Knuckles? That's my brother. And has he got a scoop for you, Scoop? Been to Palmer Video, right? Hey, what you know? Simple, Knucklehead. Everybody knows Palmer Video. You always get what you want, when you want it. By the way, I think your brother needs a shave. Die Hard, 1998. Now available at 160 Palmer Video locations. It was late one night in the castle of the Chicken McNuggets. What are you making? Sauce. We're using my mummy's recipe. Mummy? Uh-uh. Oh, oh. This is be good. It'll be great. Hmm, does your daddy have a recipe? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> when you buy McDonald's Zoo Face Happy Meal, you can disguise yourself with a wild animal nose and face paint. See you later, alligator! McDonald's Zoo Face Happy Meal. You can collect all four. Stay in your own neighborhood when you're trick-or-treating. Your neighbors are probably hoping to see you in costume on Halloween. And it's safest to visit people you know. If you don't know the people very well, don't go into their homes. Most people enjoy having trick-or-treaters come to their doors. But there are a few people who will do things to hurt kids. They might put sharp or hard objects in candy and apples. Or they might put something on fruit or gum that could make you sick if you eat it. To be completely safe, save your treats until you get home. Then ask your parents to help you check them carefully to make sure that there's nothing in them or on them that could hurt you. The safest treats are usually candy or gum that come in their own wrappers from the factory. Fruit should be washed before you eat it. And all candy bars and fruit should be sliced so you can be certain that there is nothing hard or sharp inside that could hurt you. More than, more than, more than. <laughs> Dateline Transylvania. Dr. Frankenstein has reported that he has successfully transplanted the head of a parrot onto the body of a lion. <laughs> <laughs> the creature is doing very well, but he keeps on saying, Polly wants a zebra. <laughs> Come for my delicious cereal called Chocula. It's chocolatey good. With a devilishly good chocolatey flavor and tasty marshmallows. Wrong air count. Kids come calling for my Frankenberry cereal. It's frightfully good with strawberry flavor and tasty marshmallows. What a treat! Called Chocula. Frankenberry. We like both. <laughs> <laughs> you can enjoy this good, nutritious breakfast with Frankenberry. Called Chocula. <laughs> no, maybe better not. <laughs> oh, God. Please. Let me go through this.
every one of you watching this screen, look out. Because soon, very soon, the most horrifying monster menace ever conceived will be oozing into this theater. Two teenagers see it first, like a falling star from outer space. Boy, that was close. Hey, come on, I want to see if I can find it. An old man finds it, touches it, and this is the shocking result. From then on, there's no stopping the blob as it spreads from town to town. It's indestructible. It's indescribable. Nothing can stop it. This town is in danger. How can it be stopped? Mob hysteria sweeps one city. Before long, the nation and then the world could fall before the blood-curdling threat of the Bob. Starring Steve McQueen and a cast of exciting young people.